Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the 100 baby challenge. I don't really have anything planned for today. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to pretty much just run around and uh, try to find some stuff to do. Um, I do though need to go ahead and place our baby girl Lunar down. She is ready to grow up. Um, let's see, I did put a sign down here. So this is going to be Lunar's room. I have not decorated the walls yet, but I will eventually. And the only beds that I have are the green, purple, and pink. So, uh, let's see how our baby girl Lunar is. Oh, she looks like Faith. <laughs> she does, she looks like Faith. And, uh, this is uh, kind of weird. Um, but, uh, we'll, we'll, uh... Put your bed as a green bed, okay? There you go. Um, this is kind of weird. I'm probably going to get them confused a lot. Okay, so there is our baby Lunar. And I don't have anything planned, like I said. So, I was playing around with the villagers a little bit, the guards. And um, I was moving them from the backyard to the front yard. And I noticed that Sid here... And Faye got married and they had a baby boy, which is amazing. And we also have a new guard, Marcus, which that is an awesome name there. And uh, we don't have a home for them, though. As you can see, they don't have swords anymore. Once they get married, they don't get swords. So we're going to need a home for them. And I was thinking about maybe... Uh, expanding the front yard a little bit or have like a little pathway. I was thinking about building like a little house out there. It's not going to be anything special, just, you know, the basic beds and lamps and whatever. And that's just going to be for any guards who get married and have babies. Um, but I think that that's what I'm going to do, but I have zero wood. <laughs> so I'm going to need to go get some and I think I want to match the house here so we're gonna need to go get some dark oak um but I'm gonna need to get a bunch of that so I will probably meet you back once I have a ton of it so I want to talk about something a little bit um it's about Daniel Remy and Kane now I'm gonna be completely honest here when I started this series, I had a plan of, like, all of my children living under the same house. And, you know, they could all roam freely and be happy and get married and have babies and all this other stuff. But I didn't think about the fact that, uh, the, like, the nieces and nephews can marry the aunts and uncles. Which is, it's just too weird for me. So, I don't think I can do that um so I'm left honestly with like two options I can either move uh Daniel Remy and Kane out as a family into another village or I can wait till Kane becomes an adult and then I can just move him out separately um I think that that one might work a little bit better um I think so at least that way you know there's not any marriage is going on that's that's wrong or anything and plus since our uh guards are having babies that should give like little options for uh future husbands and stuff like that so i think that that's what i'm going to do because i do want all of my children to stay right where they're at in the home and yeah so i think that that's what i'm going to do um hopefully it all turns out okay <laughs> Okay, I am back now, and this is how much wood I have. It's not a whole lot. I still have to get the oak wood, um, but this is how much uh, dark oak wood that I got, and I'm going to start with that. Um, let's see. Oh, I came down here to get fences. I don't know if I want to use those or regular fences, but I guess I'll grab them both. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine, and we're going to head on up here. Oh, nope, I need something else real fast. I need some dirt. That's what I need. Oh, I don't have a lot. Okay, we might have to go <laughs> mining for some dirt, too. I'm always out of something, it seems like, but that is okay. Hello, Marcus. What are you doing? 
Not much. All right. Um, let's see. I think I want to build the guardhouse like... Because, see, look, they're sleeping. That's so pitiful. Um, I think I want to build the guardhouse like out there. Like right where the water is, I think. Yeah, I think so. Like right in this area. And then have it connect like with a little path or something. I think that that will look really nice. So I am going to start building this and I will meet you back when I'm almost finished. Okay, so this is the finished product. Um, it's just kind of small and quaint. I didn't want anything too big. And I went ahead and connected the fences all the way around. That way it's nice and protected. And uh, yeah, so this is it. It has some nice windows. And if we come in, it has this nice little pattern on the floor. I did some bunk beds, you know, where you could just climb on up here and sleep. Um, so these are all little bunk beds. And it just has a couch and ceiling lights. Nothing too spectacular, but... It's just a little guardhouse, and I was going to put Faye and uh, Sid and everybody over there, but I don't know where Faye is. Um, she has to be somewhere in the house. Okay, I cannot find Faye. Um, I have a sneaking suspicion that she might be in the backyard, and I don't know why I did that. Oh, this is going to be a pain now. I'm going to have to add a fence gate over there or something. So now I have to run all the way around here. Um, let's see. I think that she might be in the backyard. Please tell me I'm right. Yes, yes. Okay, so this is Faye, and this must be her little son, Zayden. That's a cool name, and he's a leather worker. Okay, and he has just a bunch of blood on him. <laughs> okay, so Faye and uh, Zayden, do you want to follow me, please? Here, look, I'll say hi to you. Let's shake your hand and uh, chat. No, nope, he didn't like the chat. Okay, well, if you would just follow me, both of you. There we go. All right, so you can set your home in here as well. And set home. Oh, is he too close to the wall? I think he might be set home. There we go. And um, I guess that you can move freely. I don't see any problem with you moving freely. So I think you you would be good. Just You can just go wherever. And uh, you are good too. I think I already set your home, so you should be fine. And you can move freely as well, Faye. And uh, this is going to be your new home. I hope you like it. I guess we can go ahead and uh, move Sid over here as well. Because uh, they're all a part of the family. Well, it is a very, very rainy, dreary day. And, uh, well, what better thing to do on a rainy day? Am I right, Drew? Uh, let's see. Let's give you a little kiss. He says, I wouldn't trade you for anything in the world. That's right. And, uh, how about a little hug? He says, I love being entangled in your arms. Well, I think that that calls for, uh, making a baby. Woo! What is it gonna be? It's a girl! Yes! Alright, I am so excited. This is awesome. Okay, um, let's see. I have to pull up my comments over here. Okay, I have a comment here from Cowgirl Rules. And she says, can you name a baby girl Madison, please? And that is what I'm going to name her. Is, whoops, M-A-D-I-S-O-N. Is that, yep, that's how she spelled it. So there we go. This is our baby girl Madison. She is adorable, and I can't wait to see what she uh, looks like when she grows up. Um, but now we have to go, and we have to check on, uh, oh, what are you doing, Marcus? You just, uh, you just, I don't know, what are you, what are you doing? And yeah, so our next baby is going to be Madison, of course. 
And I think that that's going to be for next episode. Uh, That's all that I had planned for today. And yeah, so if you did enjoy, do please leave a like. And I will see you all again next time.